Hi, I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and this is Fun With Photos. Today I want to cover a couple of things. The first one is YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube channel, I think you should consider it. But the, the main purpose of today's show is about how to use Canva. It is a fantastic tool for creating any kind of graphics and the sample that I'm going to use is a YouTube thumbnail. We're going to use Canva to create a YouTube thumbnail. But first, why YouTube? You say, well, I don't, I'm not a YouTuber. I don't want to make my living on YouTube or anything. No, it is a fabulous place to store your personal videos. You probably have some videos of weddings and travel vacations and birthdays and graduations. They take up a lot of space and YouTube lets you store them for free and it's the best video player and the easiest way to share. But you know, you don't have to share. They can be private to you or what's called unlisted so that it's not available to the public. It just gives you a place to store your lengthy videos and or short ones and share them with who you want. But if you do have a passion in life that you would like to share with the world, YouTube is a great place to do that as well. Or you might want to promote your business or even start a business that is based on your YouTube videos. It is so easy to create a YouTube channel. All you need is a Google account. So if you have a Gmail address, you have a Google account. Go to youtube.com and you click the little plus in the top right corner. That means you're ready to upload a video to YouTube. The first time you do that, it's going to stop and ask you to create a channel. You just click that button. You give your channel a name. You now have a YouTube channel and clicking that plus will allow you to upload videos to it. Now I want to show you how Canva can make it so easy to make beautiful little thumbnails. Hi, this is Chris Cool with Geeks On Tour and in this video I want to show you how to make a thumbnail for YouTube videos. Now this is for complete beginners so I'm going to start with what is a thumbnail then I'm going to use Canva a free tool to make it that is very easy. Let me show you how. To explain what a thumbnail is, I'm taking you here to the Geeks on Tour YouTube channel. And it's these images that are the cover pages, if you will, to the videos. But for the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to use my imaginary friend Alice, her YouTube channel, because she's brand new. She only has one, and it is of this waterfall. What she needs is an image to go over it that looks Good. It needs to be the right size and it needs to look good. Canva is a wonderful tool for that. C-A-N-V-A dot com. It's completely web-based and you can sign up for free. And I recommend that you just continue with Google. You don't need to make a new username and password just for Canva. At least that's what Alice did. So here's what Canva looks like after Alice signing in. You can make any kind of image using Canva. So you got to get good at search. We want to do a YouTube thumbnail and we want a template because we're going to make our own and I would press enter to see all the YouTube thumbnail templates. Now her video is about waterfalls and she's going to make a series of waterfalls so I want to find a template that appeals to me regarding in nature and waterfalls. How about this one? Now it says how to practice meditation but we're going to change that. We're going to customize this template. One thing I want you to notice, since it is strictly web-based, every time you do something in Canva, it opens up a new tab up here. So that's, that's how it works. You don't go back to the home. You know, you, here are the different things where I have just been. 
this is the template that we are working on. And first of all, I'm going to change the name. So Alice's Waterfalls. Okay. And I'm going to change these words. So and I, I like the text fine. It just needs to be say something different. So, so I just selected those words and I typed over them. Where to find and waterfalls. Okay, so far so good. Now I need this main image to be of a waterfall. Well, Canva has all sorts of images. You click on elements. We have recently used lines and shapes. I want a photo. So I click on see all and then I search for waterfall and press enter. There's a bunch of them. Notice these little crowns. That, you can only use that if you are paying for the pro version. But I see this one doesn't have a crown, so I'll just drag that over. And notice how it will snap in there and replace the existing one if you, get, if you position it just right. So far, so good. But now I need to have something identifying Alice as the owner of this. So I want to put her face in a circle down here. To put a photo in a circle, that's called a frame. So I go back to Elements and Frames and See All. All sorts of different shapes of frames. I just want a simple circle. You drag that over. And now I want to put her face in there. Well, I don't have a picture of Alice, so I'm going to just find a woman's face in the photos. I'll search for woman. And once again, you can't use the ones with the crown. Let's use this woman here. And when you put her into the circle, notice how it is framed within that circle. And I want it to be a little smaller. Now I want some text. So that's this button over here. And all sorts of different kinds of text. Once again, stay away from the crowns unless you're going to start paying. And yeah, I kind of like this one. So I just clicked on it and it put it in my image. Now I have to size it. I want it to be under her. And I'll double click to select good and type in Alice, Alice's. And this is Alice's Adventures. Uh-oh, it didn't fit. And I don't, and this is a group, so when I resize it, it doesn't change the frame size. What I have to do is ungroup so that Adventures is separate from Alice's. Now I can click on Adventures and I can change the width so that Adventures fits. Put it wherever I want. I like it. So this is a thumbnail for YouTube video. It is perfectly sized. It looks great. I need to download this. Click on share and download. And it suggests a PNG, but you do have other choices. I'm more comfortable with just JPEG, so I'm going to change it there and download. The way Alice's browser is set up, that has been automatically downloaded to her downloads folder. So now we go back to YouTube so that we can upload that th thumbnail. Here is YouTube. I have to go into the YouTube studio and content to see that video, edit, and edit all the details of that video. So here are the places for thumbnails. I could choose one of the images from the video for a thumbnails or now upload thumbnail, find the folder it's in, Alice's Waterfalls. There we go. Save. Now if you look at her channel, you see that thumbnail. 
And that's just one example of what Canva can do. We, I love it. It makes such professional looking images. It can make your business cards. It can make Facebook posts. Have you ever tried to make a Facebook cover and you couldn't get the size right? Well, Canva will help that. It can even make t-shirts and it will do the printing for you. Usually if you go to a printer, you need to get a thousand business cards. What if you just want 100? Canva will do the printing for you. You can get 50 business cards for $16. You can even print your design on a t-shirt and get one t-shirt for $25. Check it out, Canva for all your graphic needs.